uh, we have the one and only um, Snake Root. They're a great band from Turkey, great rock band, and um, with a great classic rock feel. And uh, welcome. Hello there. Hello, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm very well indeed, very well. And uh, your your um, whereabouts in Turkey are you? Yes, uh, I'm in Istanbul at the moment. Istanbul, oh, brilliant! Uh, I've, I've, I've seen I've seen plenty of pictures of Istanbul on uh, on the television. Never actually been. Always wanted to go. Well, it's a nice place to visit, but a hard place to live. Yeah, I, I've heard that. I've heard that. Uh, now, uh, your um, music, you know, I've never really associated um, Turkey with rock music. What's the rock scene like in Turkey? Well, uh, actually, um, surprisingly, there's a big scene for rock music in Turkey, but uh, it's a little bit different than most of the countries in Europe. Yeah. For example, um, I don't know if you uh, if you ever check the tour days of the big bands. Yeah. And uh, you can see that most of the time they're also visiting Istanbul. Yeah, right. And right. most of the time it's a big show with uh, stadium concerts. Yeah. Right, right. So, um, do you, um, you know, what the sort of venues that you play then? Uh, in a snake route, uh, I play the guitars. Yeah. And um, I'm just one person of the five. Yeah, I've noticed there's five people in. So, I've got a photograph. There's a photograph of the band. Um, um, you know, you've got a guy in a bandana. Um, he looks like the drummer. No, actually, he's no. Ali and he's the bass player. Oh, he's the bass player. So I, I assume then it's the little guy. Then is it with the who's the drummer? Uh, I don't know which picture you have, but uh, oh, right. <laughs> to be honest with you, because in the pictures we have only one person with bandana, and that's Ali, the bass player. Ah, he's got the beard, doesn't he? Has a that's why I know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so which one are you then? Are you the guy in the cowboy hat? No, he's the no. singer. Brent. He's the singer, and, right? Right. Yes, and uh, actually, I'm the guy with no hair. Oh, you're the oh, you're the uh, you're the guy that looks small in the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm in the back there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I can see you. Yeah. So uh, now, now I got the idea. I know what picture you're talking yeah, about. Uh, it's the main. It's the main pose. It's what I call the pose picture. Um, all the bands lined up in a in a sort of pose uh, together in a, in a sort yeah of that's one of the old ones almost like a half circle yeah so um, how long have the band been going then when did you fall well actually um, it's a kind of long story uh, the band can just go back to two thousand and eight yeah but at that time we had a different name we had a different lineup yeah and uh, in time we had some changes so. Uh, I can actually say that we formed in 2010, right? And uh, we were actually a band before. We had our songs, but we had never recorded them professionally at that yeah. time. And uh, what we did is uh, we teamed up with uh, one of the best producers in Turkey. Yeah, his name is Cenk Erul. I don't know if you ever heard it. Uh, he's and, been. He's used um, a lot of uh, some big bands have used him, haven't they? Well, actually, uh, he had worked with some uh, American musicians before, yeah. Yeah. and uh, some of them are Winger, and also some guys from uh, uh, King Crimson. Yeah, I think he worked with Pat Mastellato. Yeah, and um, we teamed up together in 2010 to to record our debut album, right. uh, Downtown to Get Though. Now we know the name. Yeah, and um, it took such a long time for us because um, we had to do everything on our budget. Because, yeah. as you know, we are independent and we don't have any uh, label contract. That's right. Yeah. yeah, and it's not an easy t easy task for <laughs> the independent bands. You know that uh, exactly. Yeah, I know it's and, very very uh, difficult. It is difficult, yeah. and uh, but it worked, and uh, we're really happy about the outcome of it. Well, I, I must admit. We'll see what it brings. Yeah. Well, I must admit the album is um, fantastic. You know, I, I've I've got the album, and uh, it's a brilliant album. Really, really good. Very tight album. Thanks. You know, it sounds like you've been together for years. You know, you've got that many, many different. I can I can see many different influences in the band. Um, well, know. well, I could say so. I mean, 
mean, uh, sometimes it's a very good thing to have different influences in the band, but yeah. sometimes it is really difficult on, uh, usually in the process of songwriting. Yeah. Because every, everybody in the band has, they have different influences and uh, this affects the band in a different way. Yeah. But uh, actually, in the end, it becomes a mixture of both of us. And uh, I think it works. Yeah. But in the band, it's also, uh, we had one additional person, actually, that person was our producer. He also contributed the three of the songs in the album, so right. he also took part in the writing, uh, songwriting process yeah. for three songs. Right. And, uh, but I can, you're right about the influences. We both had different influences. Yeah, exactly. Now, the song, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play a song in a minute, um, Cut So Deep. Okay. Uh, which is a great track. It's got a good riff on that one. Um, but um, you know, I mean, that that that's got more of a. Um, I would say it sounds like an '80s rock influence. I think it is. Um, but there's something really funny about that song. And uh, one of my friends, uh, close friends, was asking me, "How did you write that song? Because it starts like White Snake, then it becomes Green Day, and again, it's Iron Maiden." <laughs> And yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think uh, that's yeah. the result of different influences. Yeah, you but I like it. that song yeah. too. Yeah, you start off. It starts off like White Snake at the start, uh, but like you say, it goes into sort of you know. So you end up with from '90s rock, or rather '80s rock, to '90s rock, uh, back to um, a slightly heavier version of '80s rock. Um, you know, it's got a, it's got a great feel. Great feel, and that that seems to be apparent all the way through the album. You know, you've got some influences I notice, like for instance, Run Runaway City um, seems to have the influence. You know, it's got I can hear a bit of Def Leppard in that one. Oh, actually, Def Leppard is a big influence for us. It has always been. Yeah. And uh, the good thing about it is we are both influenced by Def Leppard. Yeah. <laughs> That's something coming. <laughs> Yeah. The whole band. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyhow, let's take a little break, and uh, we'll we'll play the out. We'll play the song "Cut So Deep." This is, um, as we say, um, a, a mixture of White Snake, Green Day, and I Maiden. <laughs> if if you were to actually say that to somebody um, to push the song, they'll be sort of thinking, "Oh, that's a strange combination," because <laughs> 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 they're very very different. Um, styles of music I know <laughs> you know um, but uh, yeah such a good song this is Cut So Deep 